assalamu alaikum and good day guys so today uh, i'm gonna give you guys a guide on how to do lab 3 right so basically lab 3 we're going to cover about introduction to fpga hardware and also device configuration all right so uh, uh let's keep into uh this part all right so today we're going to do coding as if that we're going to download our code on the board which is a de2 development board right so as you guys can see here this is uh, you can refer it to in your lab module 3 this is how your de2 uh, board will look like so if you guys are going to the lab so you guys are going to uh, can hold this board and play around with this board so but as we are going to do the lab online so we just want to have uh, to look at the picture only but we're going to learn how we can do coding so that after we complete our coding we can load it on the board so it's a board ready code right and then automatically when you load it then uh, it can uh, operate as uh, what we want so as we can see here there are a lot of uh, peripherals a lot of chips on the board and then we can see we have eight uh, seven segment display one two three four five six seven eight and then we have 18 toggle switches we can uh, turn on and turn off the switches and we have four buttons and then we have 18 red leds and eight green leds so all these things uh, we can uh, utilize it and we're gonna learn in this lab how we going to utilize and use all these uh, things right and then uh, bear in mind when we are dealing with uh, real hardware we have to get this family or the series right so during when you want to create a project and you want to choose which fpga family that you're going to use so you have to go specifically choose ep2c35f 672c6 if you don't get this right then uh, when you do the pin assignment part then you're going to get some error all right okay so now let's go into the task or the assignment so the real task is asking you guys to use a 7447 chip right so but in this lab we're not going to use this uh, bdf block diagram file so we're going to use very log so we're going to find very log very log code for bcd to seven segment display all right so what i did is that i just uh, google around bcd to seven segment display then i found a code here all right so i found a code uh, that giving me code for very log code bcd to seven segment display converter all right so as we can see here i mean like this is this part is explaining about the seven segment it's okay let them gonna explain about it Right, so what we're going to do is just uh, copy and then just paste it in uh, our Quartus software. Uh, make sure, you know, some of you guys keep on asking me about the error regarding top level module file. So you have to ensure your module name is going to be the same as your file name, right? So the top level module. Name. And also, uh, yeah, I think that's the most important part, this two part. Right, and then, okay. Uh, when we already paste it then uh, you can try to compile it so from in my case i've already compiled it now i've got it done right okay let's explain a bit about this code so what we can we can see from this code is that we have one input and one output here so here we have bcd as the input and then seven segment as the output how can i know this when we have to look into the declaration here so there are two methods we can declare directly uh, within the top part of the module here we can declare as an, in, as an input here or we can declare as, in, as an input outside of this uh, top part here all right so they declare the input as bcd and then we can see here three two zero which means that they, we need to have four bits for the input and then for the output we can see from 0 to 6 which means that we got to have uh, 7 bits of output all right so then uh, we declare the input as a register that's why you can see rec 
0 to 6 seg sorry not the input all right so we have to declare the uh, the output as a register all right so uh, then uh, i'm going to explain a bit about what's happening here all right so always and then this add sign symbol here and then vcd so this mean is what does this line mean is that you know uh, it's gonna be always sensitive about the changes that have happening into the input bcd all right so that's why i mean like if any of the input of the bcd change then they're gonna go and look into the case right so, and then begin case bcd right so if the bcd is zero which mean because this is four bit if it's a zero 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 then the output of the seg gonna be zero 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 one if the input of the bcd change into zero 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 one which means one in decimal then it's going to output one zero zero one 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 all right so let's see here when we are dealing with hardware we have to know uh, the connection of the hardware right so in this case we have to go and look into the manual so you guys have to go and download the de2 user manual and we have to check you know the the the, the chip configuration so in this case let's say we want to use switch right so we have to go and check uh the switch connection okay so all right so okay this is the switch part all right so the switch let's see here switch zero uh pin n25 so we know that if we want to connect our input that we have designed here we have four bits input right and then we want to connect the wire so in this case we have four wires here so we want to connect the four wires to the uh the toggle switch right so we have to go and check the de2 manual and see the pin configuration so in this case switch zero the pin is pin n25 and switch one pin n26 i'm going to show you later how you can assign the pin right and then uh, how, what about the schematics so this is the schematics so you can see that uh, the switches uh, connection here all right so there's a ground vcc ground right so, right then we go into the uh, seven segment so we also want to use seven segment in this lab seven segment display all right okay for seven segment display we have to know which pin uh, connected to the led light on the seven segment and also we have to know whether the seven segment is active low or active high so how are we going to know the seven segment is active low or active high we have to look at the circuit diagram so example here we see that you know on the right part here the server is connected to vcc which means uh, the, the uh, high voltage it's not not the high voltage, it's a 5 volt voltage or 3.3 volt voltage and then on this activation part here is being is going to be connected to ground because the the electric going to flow from the 5 volt to ground so we understood here that the seven segment display here is active low so whenever you connect around here then the, ele the, the electric will flow and then turn on the led all right so that's the first thing that we have to know and then the second part is that the configuration of the uh, the led light to form a number on the seven second display so you can see a number here so this means b0 b1 b2 b3 4 5 6 right now look into our code here so okay this is correct already right so we know that uh, it is active also to form number zero I mean we're gonna give signal like this to the seven segment so what we did here we like uh, we assume that b0 starting from left so this is b0 and then followed by uh, b2 
B3 until B6. Alright, so we can see here to form a zero number, all of the LED need, need to be zero except for bit number six. Alright, All right, so uh, that's how we form uh, number one, right? So, we, I'm sorry, number zero. So all of the LEDs need to be activated except for bit six here. So that's why we see here, I mean like, only bit six uh, being uh, given as a one, which means that we don't want to activate it. The rest is zero, so because you see it is active low. So you can check for one until nine, right? So uh, first we have to make sure that we got all this code right. And what we have to do then we have to go for simulation, all right? So for simulation, you know, to make your life easy, what you can do is that you just uh, highlight certain part of the signal and then we can uh, right click then value and also reduce the output all right so what we can do is just highlight certain part here okay and then right click then go to value and then you go to count value so count value starting from 0 to 0 increment by 1 so you're going to do automatically for you so you best don't have to set it one by one right then then press ok then you're going to get the increment like that so you simulate it then after you simulate you're going to see the result okay, so when the bcd is 0 0 0 you're going to, you're going to get 0 0 0 1 Right, and then zero zero one, your output is going to look like this. So you have, maybe it has to follow your coding. All right, just to ensure that we got the output right. All right, and then okay for the next part, I'm going to teach you how to assign the pin. Right, to assign the pin, you have to go to the assignment, and then go to pin, then just click pin trainer. Then one new window going to pop up going to look like this so what you can do is you have to assign the location for an example here we have four inputs which we want to connect it to the uh the toggle switch right so we have to go and refer to the lab uh the, sorry the, the e2 board manual and then we have to go and check uh, the pin number right so we have to go Check the toggle switch. For example, toggle switch zero is pin ten twenty five. So what we have to do here is just we double click at the location. You know, it's here for the sign. You just have to type n twenty five. Automatically, they are going to pin n twenty five. Just press enter, and then here follows n twenty six. Then go to uh, switch number three, which is SW two, and then pin P twenty five. So what you can do is that just do P25, then enter. All right. So uh, you guys have to complete the whole thing and then go to the BCD and then uh, for the, uh, sorry, not the BCD, the seven segment. And you have also to assign the pin for seven segment. And then just look into the DE2 manual and then uh, look for the pin assignment. Right, so in this case, hack zero is pin AF10. Uh, right, so zero is, oops, sorry, not this one. Okay, no, this way out. Zero is AF. Uh, 10. Right. So, okay, 0, K, F, N, and 10. Alright, so you guys have to do all these pin assignment, then you have to show it in your video for the lab 3 submission so that I'm, uh, I know that you guys have done on the uh, lab assignment part. So, when you're done, you can just close it because it's going to uh, automatically save it for you.
so when you get that done so that means your code is ready to be loaded on the uh on the what do you call it on the uh the e2 bot right so what you have to do after you assign the pin you have to recompile right and then you just uh recompile it again and show that uh all the pin assignment uh already been sent in code so then uh, later when you uh, load the code on the board then you're gonna get uh the design up and running uh properly all right so we have to wait for the uh for the uh compilation to finish okay guys so when you done comp the compilation part so you have to double click on the program device open programmer all right so this is to i mean i'm just showing you guys step if you guys are working on the real hardware right but in this case we are not uh, going to use uh, any hardware so i'm just going to show you the step right so later might be when you guys uh, I mean, it's working on a project later using FPGA, then at least you know how to do it. So just double click on here, program device, open program mode. Then you're going to get a new window here, All right? So this is a window where you're going to download your coding into the FPGA board. So the first part is that you get, have to do the hardware stuff. So, I mean, in my case here, I don't have any hardware connected to my laptop. But if there is any, then they're going to detect it. So just have to you know, click the hardware and then just press close. Normally, they're going to automatically detect the .sof file. So this is the, the file that you're going to load into the FPGA and set your FPGA uh, based on your design. If you, you cannot find the file, then you can uh, double click on that part then uh, you're going to ask you to select no programming file normally the .sof file will be located in your project folder and then you have to find it inside the output files so that's what then you're going to use here lab 3 sf and output right so when everything is ready then you have to make sure that the program configured uh, box is checked and just uh, click start here in this case because there's no hard printed and this for the start of the page not enable all right so this is just showing you a step to load the code on board all right okay now for for the task today right all right so you the task today is to uh, modify the code and then use two BCD sorry uh, use two seven segment display and then you guys need to be able to display up until uh, 50 all right so your code gonna count starting from zero up until 50 so that's gonna be your lab task for uh, lab three all right so all the best guys see you in the next uh, lab session thank you so much bye